Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to take the derivative of trigonometric functions. So in this video, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm only going to talk about the sine function and the cosine function. So if you have a function that is sine of x, then the derivative of this function is cosine of x. And if you have a function f of x is equal to cosine of x, then the derivative of this function is negative sine x. So these are two things that you'll probably just have to remember. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. In our first example, we want to find the derivative of f of x is equal to 2 sine cubed x. So now let's look at what this actually means. So we can look at this function as 2 multiplied by something in the inside, a composite function, to the exponent 3. So now when we take the derivative of this function, we're just going to follow the chain rule and the power rule. So we're going to take the exponent down and multiply it by the coefficient, so 3 times 2. We're going to subtract 1 from the exponent, which gives us sine squared of x. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of sine x, we know from before, is cosine of x. And this gives us the answer. All right, let's take a look at another example. In this example, we want to take the derivative of the function f of x is equal to sine of 2x. So in this question, we can just think of sine of 2x as being sine of something. And so we know the derivative of sine of something is just cosine of something. So that gives us cosine of 2x. And now we're going to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 2x is 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at the third example. So in this question, we want to take the derivative of the function f of x is equal to sine x multiplied by cosine of x. And so to take this derivative, we're going to use the product rule, which still applies to sine and cosine functions. So we're going to take the derivative of the first term, so sine x, the derivative is cosine of x, and multiply it by the second term, which is cosine of x. Now we're going to add this to the derivative of the second term, cosine of x. The derivative of that is negative sine of x. And now we're going to multiply that by the first term, sine of x. And now we can simplify this to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And this is actually a trig identity. So we can simplify this even further to cosine of 2x. Now we're going to take a look at an example of a trig function that involves division. So the function we're going to be looking at is f of x is equal to sine x over cosine of x. And so in order to take this derivative, we're going to use the quotient rule. So just like we can use the product rule, we can use the quotient rule on trig functions. So we're going to take the derivative of the top term, which is cosine of x, multiply it by the bottom term, cosine of x. We're going to subtract the derivative of the bottom term, which gives us negative sine x. And we're going to multiply it by the top term, which is sine of x. And all of this is going to be over the bottom term squared, which is cosine squared x. And so now we can actually simplify this. So it's going to give us cosine squared x plus sine squared x on the top all over cosine of squared x on the bottom. So now if we remember our trig identities, sine squared x is ac actually equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So that gives us cosine squared x plus 1 minus cosine squared x on the top and we still have cosine squared x on the bottom. So we can simplify this to 1 over cosine squared x. And now if we remember, 1 over cosine squared x is just secant squared x. So that gives us our final simple answer. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section.